Hi guys, this is Brooke Rogers with Kiwi's Party. I'm going to be doing a demo of a dragon balloon for you all. First, I'm going to blow up my green 350 by Vitalik. These balloons are a little bit longer than the Qualtex, so I like them for the riding balloons. And what I mean by riding is these ones go around your waist and it looks like you're riding a dragon. So I'm going to blow that up all the way, leaving a little bit of tail, and then I'm going to twist the ends together. So now that I have it twisted together, I'm going to twist it in half by rolling it right at the middle. Pull and roll. And now these two balloons I'm going to roll together. It's going to lock these two balloons together. Do it two times just to make sure it's secure. Next, I'm going to get another 350 and I'm going to blow this one up and I'm going to leave just a little bit more on the tail and just so I have room to twist. Tie it up. We're going to make two bubbles on the end, about two inches. Pinch twist and then tuck that nozzle back inside. So now you have two bubbles right on the end. Next, we're going to make another set of pinch twists. First one and then the other. And this is going to make the mouth of the dragon where the fire is going to come out of. Now we're going to bend that part of the balloon down and match up where that first set of pinch twist was and roll it together. And we're going to straighten out the lips so that it looks like you have a top lip and a bottom lip. And this is our head for the dragon. Okay, now we're going to squish our balloon so it gets nice and loose. And we're going to make a bubble at the end which is going to attach into the body. Usually I do two bubbles here, or one bubble and a pinch twist, but it makes it a little more secure. I didn't do that this time. It's okay if you're gonna have the kid riding it. Sometimes it'll fall down forward, uh, so that's why I put in that extra twist. Next, you're gonna get a 260 in white, and you're gonna blow that up. Leave lots of room on the tail of this one because whenever you're twisting teeth or the string of pearls, you're gonna use up that tail end of the balloon. You don't wanna run out of space. I wrap the nozzle in around right where the um, head is going to be at the top. The eyes are also going to be right there. So string of pearls. This is something you just have to practice at. You're going to hold always the first and the last bubble and you're going to twist at least three times. I'm locking it into place and then going back around doing the same thing. You could probably do a separate tutorial just on the string of pearls alone so I won't go into that too much but it's a really quick, fun way, once you get on the hang of it, to adding teeth to dinosaurs, dragons, etc. And I go ahead and put the eyes using the rest of this balloon too. So we're gonna do two, probably three inch length bubbles. We have the little tail end right here and we're just gonna snap that off. We don't need that anymore. And then I wrap the tail around a good, at least three, four times somewhere inside the balloon just so that the air doesn't escape. And if you're noticing, this looks like a dinosaur right now. This is also sometimes what I use for a dinosaur. I just add in the front little claws and a tail, which is what I'm adding on now. So I inflate my 350 balloon, same color, all the way. And then I'm going to grab it in the middle and let out half of the air. I mean, we don't want the full tail because when they're running around sometimes, that tail gets popped on stuff. So we just want it to be half of the length of the balloon. I put one bubble on the end and then I'm gonna wrap that around and under and lock it in place. And then that little tail where you're gonna have the extra balloon, I'm gonna hide that by wrapping that in there or breaking that off. Next, get your balloon marker or your Sharpie. And I'm out of focus here, but I'm adding in the eyes and I made them angry. I usually like to ask the kiddo if they want their dinosaur or their dragon to be nice or mean. And sometimes they really want a nice one, so better if you ask. Here I'm going to take this metallic purple, I think it's called lilac actually, blow that up all the way except for um, maybe a half inch, just enough to tie the two ends together and make that loop. And I'm going to get one more and do the same thing, but instead of tying these together at the end, I'm going to use the balloon in the middle of the first loop, I'm going to tie it through, if that makes sense, to lock them together. There you go, just like a link in a chain. So pull those apart, and those are gonna be our wings now. If 
I can get my life together to pull it apart. <laughs> All right, so if you give it to the kid right now with just these two loops, uh, it's gonna look like a butterfly. I'm wrapping this around two times also, by the way, so that it doesn't pop out when they start playing. So I'm gonna shape the wings. You can squeeze and pinch to make a triangle shape, or you can twist the balloon and then it'll make an automatic ending because it's twisted. Um, here we go. We're gonna make this one quick. So this is the yellow for the fire. If you know how to curl your balloons, you can curl it for the fire, but I'm just gonna do a quick braid. So wrap that in there and then twist it and this is gonna be the fire for the dragon. Lock those two ends together, leaving about a one inch bubble on each end, and then I roll it through so it doesn't come undone. The kids like these, because they get to run around and scream at their mother and be a dragon. Some people don't believe that you can get this on an adult, but I tell them if I can get it on me, I can get it on you. Thank you so much for watching and like and subscribe below and I hope to make a lot more balloon videos for you guys. Bye now.